Hello everyone. Welcome you all again into the video series of Encyclopedia of Electrical and Electronic Component. I am Professor Amit Yadav, and today we will going to discuss what is fuse, their types, how to use it, what are the problem generally we face in any fuse. So all these point we will discuss in our today video. Okay, so let us start. So uh, what is fuse? As you can see here, uh, I have shown the systematic diagram of the fuse. And in this, in this below figure, uh, you can also see a type of fuse, which we will discuss in detail in our next section. Okay. So basically, what is fuse? So a fuse protect an electrical circuit or device from excessive current when a metal element inside it melts to create an open circuit. Okay, so look here in this systematic diagram, as you can see here, uh, suppose uh, if I take the example of uh, the symbol, what, how, to, uh, how this uh, fuse basically uh, protect your circuit? Well, basically, uh, these fuses are connected in any circuit which have a certain uh, ampere limit. Okay, and suppose this fuse have an ampere limit of suppose five ampere, and it is connected in a system in which uh, it that uh, load cannot bear uh, current uh, load cannot bear a uh, current ever from that uh, five ampere. Okay, so whenever a current uh, of uh, uh, whenever a current of higher limit from five ampere flow through this fuse, then what will happen? This wire have only a maximum capacity of five ampere, which it can transfer through it. Okay, so okay, as you all know that the concept of I square R loss. So as the current increases, what will happen? The I square R loss, that is copper loss will get, what will happen? As the I increase, what will happen? The copper loss, I will increase. And basically this copper loss, the, you can see this copper loss in the form of heat, or you can say that you can experience that copper loss in the form of heat. So as the heat get up, after a certain limit, this wire get melt down, okay, or this wire get disconnected. So in this way, when the when a current of higher limit, or you can say that when a fault current flow through any circuit, this uh, metal of this fuse get blown out or melt down to create the open circuit. Okay, so in this way, a fuse will work. Now, uh, in the systematic diagram, uh, now here is the systematic symbol for fuse. Uh, those are the right and second from right, that means this one, is the frequently used symbol, okay? And uh, the one in the center is approved, this one, is approved by the ANSI or IEEE, okay? Which is basically seldom seen, rarely we use a symbol. But this uh, second left, okay? This fuse symbol is basically you, uh, used by uh, electrical contractors, for the architectural plan. Whenever you see any uh, substation uh, layout, in that diagram, you will see this symbol, okay? So basically contractors use this symbol to represent the fuse. And this is also a type of fuse, which we rarely use these days, but you can use this symbol to represent the fuse, okay? And with the exception of the resetable fuse, a fuse must be discarded and replaced after it has a 
fulfilled its function. Basically, uh, the funds, uh, basically the fuse can be your resettable fuse and this fuse cannot be your uh, resettable fuse. Okay. In case of non-resettable fuse, what will happen when the current of excess limit passes through that fuse, then what happened? The conductor get melt and it will create the open circuit. So in that case, in that case, you cannot use that fuse again. Okay, so you have to replace it. But suppose if you have a resettable fuse, then okay. After a fault, a circuit will get tripped down. Then you again reset into its initial position or automatically it can reset into its uh, healthy position. Okay, so this is what the resettable fuse. Okay, and a fuse can work with either AC or DC voltage. Okay, there is no supply. Uh, type limit in case of fuse, it can work in DC as well as uh, AC also. Okay, let's move ahead. Now, how it's work? As I uh, discussed in this previous section, uh, basically, the now look here. Now look here. This is the but this is a cartridge type fuse, which we have discussed uh, in our previous uh, slide. Now, uh, how it work? How this uh, fuse work? Basically, the element in fuse is usually a wire. Look here. There is a wire or a thin metal strip here. You can see there is a wire, but there is a thin metal strip. Okay, as the rating of uh, fuse get uh, up, then in case in place of wire, we use the metal strip mounted between the two terminals. Okay, so there are the two terminals, this one and this one, and the metal strip is placed between these two terminals. So this metal strip just sort them. Okay, so this is a cartridge fuse and it is enclosed in a glass or ceramic cylinder with a contact at each end, both the end have the contact with that uh, metal strip or in a small metallic can or it may be in a small metallic can or it sometimes may be in a glass or ceramic cylinder. A fuse respond only to the current, not to voltage, okay? Just clear uh, this concept. Uh, fuse basically sends the excess current. Okay, it does not affect with any excess voltage. But as you know that there, when there is a voltage, then only be there is a chance of current. Without voltage, current not exists. Okay, but the rating of the fuse is defined with its ampere rating. Okay, and if uh, I is the current, suppose if I is the current surge uh, in ampere, which normally occur in case of fault, and T is its duration in second, okay? That means the time for which that surge uh, occur in that uh, fuse, then the surge sensitivity of the fuse is your I square T, okay? So in this way, you can calculate how much this fuse can bear the surge. Okay, so any fuse will present some resistance. As you know that every wire has some resistance, so this fuse will also have some the resistance to the current flowing through it. And otherwise, the current would not generate the heat that blown the fuse. Okay, if suppose this uh, wire does not have any resistance, then what will happen? It does not follow the Ohm's law. Uh, sorry, it does not follow the uh, cover laws. As you know that uh, in previous slide, I have discussed told you that this uh, fuse also works on the concept of copper loss, where the formula of copper loss is your I square R. So when there is R, then only the copper loss occur, and then only the heat will produce. And when the excess current flow through this fuse, what will happen? Excess heat will produce, and then this metal strip or then this, met, uh, this metal wire get melt down, and it will create the open circuit, okay. So in this way, a fuse works. 
Now, how to calculate its value? How do we calculate the value of any fuse? Okay, so the current rating or the rated current of a fuse is usually printed or stamped on its casing and is the maximum flow that it would withstand on a continuous basis at the ambient temperature specified by the manufacturer. Usually the temperature is your 25 degrees centigrade. And this is sometimes known as the breaking capacity. Okay, so look here in this type of, in this cutter's fuse, in the, its uh, terminal, look here, suppose I think here, uh, 15A is written here, okay. So 15A is what its value, okay, fuse value. And this fuse will not bear the current ever from that uh, 15 ampere. If you supply that uh, current ever from this uh, value, then what will happen at that level, uh, at that time, this fuse get blown down or this terminal get break down. That's why that value is also called as its breaking capacity, okay? So uh, this fuse, basically the rating of the fuse is always in ampere. Okay, move ahead. There are some variants of the fuse, which I have uh, taken here in our slide. Uh, in the previous slide, you have already, this. Uh, we have discussed about this glass cutter's fuse. Now here I have taken one, uh, one, uh, I have taken another type of uh, your uh, fuel and uh, which is called as a strip fuel. So what is this strip fuel? Basically, these uh, fuels are high ampere fuels uh, used for your uh, in vehicle or uh, maybe sold in a strip fuels in the form of uh, switch fuel, uh, strip fuels format also known as fuse welding, designed to be clamped between two screw terminals. Basically, these strip fuse are, you can say, used in our vehicles, or you can also see that these types of fuse may be used in our panel boxes also, okay? And through this, you see these fuse are get uh, screwed down here, okay? In this U shape portion. The, in this way, it will get attached with any terminal. Here also, we have another type of fuse, which is also called as uh, your uh, automatic fuse. The type at the top is typically described as a maxi fuse. This is your uh, maxi fuse. And in the bottom left, in the bottom left, this is your mini fuse. Look here, both have the same, but they, they're just, there is a difference in their size, okay? And all have the same rating, all have the, all, this, this, this one is also your uh, mini fuse, okay? And all have almost the same rating from, uh, of uh, prox 30 ampere, okay? So basically these fuse are uh, generally used in your automobile sector, okay? Look, come on to our, uh, Next variant, this, uh, this type of fuse is also called as resettable fuse and uh, properly known as polymeric positive temperature coefficient or uh, you can also call it as PTC or PPTC. Whenever you go to uh, some electronic shop to purchase this fuse, you, you can call it as your PTC or PPTC fuse, okay, Poly polymer positive temperature coefficient. Okay, so how it's, uh, what are these type of fuse are? Basically, these are a resettable fuse, okay. So a resettable fuse is a solid state encapsulated, okay, encapsulated component that greatly increases its resistance in response to a current overload, but gradually return to its original condition when the flow of the current is discontinued, okay. Uh, I think you all get understand uh, the, it's, the, the function of this uh, resettable fuse is very simple. 
as you increase the current, what will happen? The resistance of uh, this material will get increased. And as its resistance get uh, increased, then what will happen? It will create an open circuit. It does not allow the excess current to pass through it. So this, this, this material will start behaving as an open circuit in that case. But as the current get lowered down up to certain level, then what will happen? Then the resistance of this material also get gradually get down. Okay, so in that case, this uh, your PTC fuse will start uh, behaving as an open circuit. Okay, and uh, it can be thought of thought of as a thermistor that has a nonlinear response. Uh, you can also call this uh, resetable fuse as a thermistor because this thermistor also have a nonlinear response, okay? So how to use it? Very simple. You have to just connect these fuse in, your main, uh, in between the main supply. Suppose uh, you have, uh, look here. Suppose you have a phase and suppose you have a neutral and we have a load also. We have a load also. Then what will happen? Just connect the neutral with the load and here I have taken a fuse, okay. Here I have taken a fuse. Suppose this F is denoting your fuse. So just connect the one terminal of the fuse with the load and connect another terminal of that fuse with the phase, okay? Mean, it means this fuse is connected in series with the, your phase terminal and the load, okay? So what will, how it's work then? Whenever the excess current will flow through this fuse, what will happen? It get blown down and it will create the open circuit and through which our load get protected. Okay, so in this way, we can uh, use our fuse. Okay, okay. Now next is what can go wrong with this fuse? Okay, we connect the fuse, but sometimes we face that uh, repeated failure. Okay, whenever the, we switch the light or any supply, fuse get blown down. Okay, again and again, it gets blown down. So this is a very common, uh, problem we generally play face whenever we connect any fuel. So what are the, the their causes or what are the reason why it's happening? Basically, uh, there is a chance that the fuse you have connected here is not of the right capacity. Okay, that's why when, when you switch on the supply, excess current flow uh, through that terminal and which is uh, higher from its uh, rating, in that case, this fuse get blown down. So this may be a cause or there may be some uh, fault happening in your device that's, that is uh, that due to that, that uh, fuse continuously get blown, okay, blown down. Mm -hmm. So these may be two uh, conditions due to which this reputed failure occurs. Okay, and second one is your soldering damage. This is also a very common type of uh, problem in your uh, fuse. Uh, what happened in such type of uh, problem? Basically, the fuel, uh, fuse which we use uh, in our circuit, as you can see here, in this fuse we have a two terminal and we just uh, sold them into somewhere in the circuit. And suppose in the, if we use the excess solder in their terminals, then what will happen? Due to that excess solder, this excess solder will create the excess heat across the terminals. And at the same time of level, this heat uh, get uh, cross its limit and the fuse get blown down. Okay, so always use limited amount of solder material while using any fuse, okay? So hope you, uh, you have liked this session and uh, if you have any query or uh, if you have any feedback, please mention so that we can uh, improve our uh, content or content of delivery, okay? Thank you, thank you everyone, thank you once again.